Seems we've got a big Warhammer 40k release week coming up. Let's talk about prices for those starter sets, librarians and bargaunts, small rule books, and more, with a breakdown of all the new boxes for 10th edition 40k. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd do a quick look at Games Workshop's new Warhammer 40k releases this week. This week mainly being themed around the starter set, but there are a few interesting other bits that Games Workshop hadn't announced until now. Here's the quick list of the releases that we're getting this week. These will be going live on Saturday the 15th of July to pre-order, and then full sale from the 22nd of July after that. In this we've got the three different tiers of starter sets, the introductory starter set and ultimate starter sets. Also looks like they're releasing the Librarian and Terminator armor and the Tyranid Barb Gaunts, so you could upgrade the things from the starter sets to be the full combat patrols. There's also the release of a 40k mini rulebook with just the core rules in it. That's apparently direct from Games Workshop only, and then a couple of mini paint sets with either Infernus Marines or Termagants. As always with these new releases, if you were looking to get your hands on them a little bit cheaper, then either Element Games here in the UK or Gap Games in Australia both tend to stock them at discounts. Element Games usually has around 15% off in the UK and Gap Games around about 20% in Australia. Feel free to check those out, they're linked down in the video description. They should normally have the pre-orders going live from around about 10am local time if you were looking to pick them up through them. If you do click on the links and buy anything through them, a small amount also goes to help support all specs tactics and keep these videos coming. Getting into the actual releases though, and first up we have the 40k introductory set. This one's the one with the small squad of Infernus Marines versus the Tyranid Termagants. You get 5 Infernus Marines, 10 Termagants, and a Ripper Swarm. And they also get you some basic assembly and painting supplies, 5 paints, some clippers and a paintbrush. And it seems that this set is £40, €55, Euros, or $65. US dollars. I can't help but kind of compare this to the Recruit set for 9th edition, which was quite a good one with two characters alongside those squads. It didn't have the tools or painting support though, and I feel for that reason it puts this set a lot more aimed at newer hobbyists, as opposed to those with established collections, unless you really, really want those paints specifically. Seems like a fairly smart idea from Games Workshop's part though, basically get a mini set that's at least fairly cheap, and does have the vast majority of the things that you'd actually need to get some models together and get some paint on them, at least to some capacity anyway, even if the paints they've chosen are kind of limited, and you would likely need a few more to really get them finished properly. I feel like for most people, at least at the moment, you're probably just better off buying the Infernus Marines or Termagants, perhaps second hand on eBay or something. There should be a whole load of them going cheap with the Leviathan box, never mind these starter sets adding to more being in the secondary market. Probably the starter set that I like the most personally is the standard 40k starter set. This one's £65, €85 Euros, and $110. I think I like it the most just because it's really focused on the models. No other supporting stuff here, no paints or terrain or rule books or things. They'd all be bought separately I suppose, but just a pretty nice amount of both Tyranids and Space Marines, around about 400 points worth of each. For £65, €85 Euros or $110, I think it's really quite a good deal on what you get here, at least if we're talking comparatively from Games Workshop. Often from them and getting somewhere around about 4 or 5 points per dollar in the box is generally fairly good deals. This one he gets more up to around about 7 or 8 I believe, and you do get a lot more plastic in the box sets than you might get in several other Combat Patrol boxes that Games Workshop sells, and they cost significantly more than this. I think if you did miss out on Leviathan and you wanted to get started with either Space Marines or Tyranids, it seems like a pretty solid shout this one. And this one will be sticking around into the future, so it means that if you did want any of the models within the box, there should be at least a decent chance of them going second hand on eBay for quite cheap. Should make it super easy to pick up at say a Winged Prime or Space Marine Terminator Captain if you wanted one. Overall looks pretty good I think. As for disadvantages, I would bear in mind that this one doesn't come with the hardback mini core rulebook. That one was pictured in a previous promo shot of this one, but it looks like that was a mistake. And it is a little bit unfortunate that they couldn't quite squeeze in enough models into the box to give you the combat patrol of both sides. I think that would have been an extra selling point, even if they had charged a tiny bit more for it. The Space Marines are missing a Terminator Librarian, and the Tyranids are missing some Barb Gaunts for their given combat patrol game sets. And that's why they're choosing to release those models individually this week, it would seem. Overall looks like a really quite a good kit though. I feel like this one probably looks like it's better value than the elite version of Warhammer 40k for the Space Marines versus Necrons. You get about the same amount of Space Marines in terms of models, but you do get far more miniatures from the Xenos faction. Finally for the starter sets, and adding in a few things compared with the regular one, we have the ultimate starter set. This one's £125, €160 Euros, or $210. 
and you basically get the same sort of things as you had in the previous one but with the addition of a mini core rulebook so you've got those to hand if you want them, a set of terrain with some bunkers and blast walls and things and also those last two units as we mentioned the librarian and the barb gaunts. I feel kind of similarly about this one to the previous one, really not bad if you just wanted to get going with Warhammer 40k and get literally everything in one box I suppose. I feel like to really make it actually properly worth it compared with the previous though, you do really need to be getting value out of both the terrain and the rulebook as well, as well as the miniatures, it is very nearly double as much. I think if you were thinking about getting the starter sets and you were absolutely adamant that you are going to want the Librarian and the Barb Gaunt to expand both forces to combat patrols, then it's probably worth getting this one instead, as it wouldn't be much more than buying those kits individually on top of the regular starter sets. I'll be interested to hear what you guys think though, at these price points, what do you think is the best out of the three starter sets, and which one would you be most interested in yourself? Talking about the individual model releases though, first up we have the Librarian and Terminator armour, Really quite a cool miniature I think this one, having all the runic inlays, I do quite like the way that they've painted him as well. He's £24, €31.50 or US dollars dollars not really any massive surprise there, and pretty in line with other Games Workshop characters of that sort of weight class. I think you can usually say that GW characters are a little bit expensive for any one infantry model, compared with any of their regular plastic kits, even if it is a very snazzy plastic miniature. Doesn't look like there's any additional weapon options or choices that you can have on his sprue. I guess it is literally just going to be the same sprue as he had in Leviathan. And in game I think he's usable enough. He gives Terminator squads a bit more damage output with sustained hits on all their attacks. I think he does have strong competition for leading the squad though between both the Terminator captains and chaplains, both of which have big advantages of their own. Next up we've got the Tyranid Barb Gaunt. £27.50, €35 Euros or $45. That puts these guys as one of the cheapest infantry squads that Games Workshop sells, and probably kind of appropriately so really. Five basically monopose models just don't really feel very good to be bought at the same sort of price as their bigger multipose ones. Lots of people regard the Necron Flayed ones as one of the worst examples of badly priced miniatures in their range. I feel like these guys are a kind of similar offering for the Tyranids in terms of miniature quality, so it is quite good to see them priced lower. Still doesn't get you an enormous amount of points in game, you are getting very nearly about one point per dollar still. I feel like ideally if you can just pick them up as second hands from Leviathan somehow, you're probably going to be doing better there. I guess that at least a few people might be tempted either to get them to increase the starter box sets to the combat patrol, or just because they're really quite good in game at the moment. Fairly savage damage output against infantry squads with 5 models or more with their blast weapons, but perhaps more importantly slowing down enemy infantry, potentially multiple squads at once, unless Games Workshop choose to FAQ it at some stage. Models wise I think they're okay. They were considered one of the less popular models out of the Leviathan box when we did the poll based on aesthetics. I guess just Gaunt with a big gun though are probably not going to be the single most inspiring models in the army most of the time. Next up looks like Games Workshop's coming out with a 40k mini core rulebook. This one just containing core rules for the game, a quick reference. Unfortunately we don't have the prices for this one yet as it's going to be a Games Workshop web store exclusive and also limited stock as well so once they're gone they're gone. From the description it sounds like this one is just the free core rules that you can download, so you wouldn't really be getting any additional content here, it's just a nice format to have it out on the table and not have it take up a massive amount of space like the really big Leviathan book or something. It is quite nice they actually have the offering of the rules in different formats like this. I suppose you could also get it from the Ultimate Starter Set though. That one also having the Combat Patrol rules in it, it sounds like this one is just the core rules of the game though. Could be interesting enough I think, provided they don't price it too high. Then finally we've got a couple of starter paint sets, Infernus Marines and the Termagants. These ones kind of feel like the 40k starter set but on absolute micro mode, rather than even getting two units in here, you just get literally a few marines and then a paint set to get them painted up. I guess these ones are aimed at just people who absolutely want to just dip their toe into Warhammer 40k with pretty minimal investment. You get six paints in this, one paintbrush and your mini squad, a few nice models to test out paint schemes on perhaps, or just look for on a shelf. I guess compared with the introductory set, the paints might be a little bit more appropriate for the Infernus Marines, as they're not trying to cater for the Tyranids as well. Random sets of three Marines might not be very helpful going forward as you're building up an army though, due to not having enough to fill out entire squads of them like this, and Games Workshop's point system now punishes any sort of odd numbered squads. The Tyranid Termagants basically have the same deal. £22.50, €30 Euros, and $35 for both of these. The Tyranids get four miniatures, though they are smaller ones. Three Termagants and a Ripper Swarm. Again, kind of fun that these exist for people who just want to get into 40k for an absolute standing start. Perhaps kind of limited use to existing hobbyists though, unless you want literally exactly the paints that are on offer in the bundle. 
Let me know your thoughts on these though. What do you make of the 40k starter and introductory sets and the new miniature releases of this week? Which are looking good or bad for their prices and would you be tempted to pick any up on Saturday? If you've enjoyed the video then feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics while I'll certainly keep the regular 40k videos coming. I do tend to post new ones just about every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos on the channel or you'd just like to help support, I would just like to mention that All Specs Tactics does have a Patreon page as well and you can find that linked in the video description below. Channel patrons get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening and I'll hope to see you guys next time.